Stephen 851, turn right, heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. I would just like to start off today's video by apologizing if my voice sounds a little bit different. Allergies are being a real pain at this time of the year, but we soldier through. Historic news for Aer Lingus is the focus for today's second video following the airline launching for the very first time a direct flight from Manchester through to New York JFK, with not only this being a first for the airline overall, but really a critical building block for the airline moving forward in the rebuilding and expansion of its network following, of course, the most challenging years that the airline has ever experienced within the aviation industry thanks to the global pandemic, which may I add is still ongoing. This is also part of a two-week period that features some inaugural services as the airline expands out of Manchester, with on December 11th, the airline launching a service through to Orlando, Florida, that will go alongside their most recently launched flight from Manchester to New York JFK, of course this being the focus for today's video. Reid Moody, who is currently the Chief Strategy and Planning Officer at the Irish-based airline, commented on the historic launch of their Manchester flight through to New York saying the following, Today marks a very important day for Aer Lingus as we launch our first flights from the UK to the United States as we recover and expand our transatlantic network. Our New York and Orlando routes follow the launch of our new direct flights to Barbados on October 20th, which will run until April before returning the following winter. Customers will be flying on board the A321LR or Long Range, and this is an aircraft Aer Lingus labels as state-of-the-art, and that will help make their vision of becoming a leading airline on the transatlantic sector an actual reality moving forward. No matter what your status within the aviation industry, and really no matter how big of an airline you are in your base of operations, breaking into the transatlantic sector is always a little bit tricky. Given the fact that there are so many airlines competing for similar markets, it's definitely an uphill battle for an airline to truly establish themselves. However, if an airline can correctly plan their routes, their offering, the pricing, and so much more, and overall have a business model that is attractive, they will thrive in that sector. With those flights that I mentioned from Manchester being launched, the airline believes this will create significant boosts for the airline as well moving forward, not just with regards to employees, but also for tourism within the Manchester area, and really just overall a better connectivity for people that are wanting to fly transatlantic from different destinations in the UK. Finally, the airline said, the fact Aer Lingus has chosen Manchester Airport as its first UK base for transatlantic flights is a significant boost for the region, creating hundreds of jobs in the process. Aer Lingus's transatlantic routes will no doubt be hugely popular with the 22 million people live in our catchment area, especially now the US has reopened its borders to British travellers. What are your thoughts on this historic flight for Aer Lingus and of course the one that's following which will be headed down to Orlando, Florida? Do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks very much for tuning in. Be safe, take care and I'll see you next time. Oh,